asphalt was decided a Manitowoc landmark would stay put, thanks in part to a huge community outcry. Right, the city stepped in so the iconic Budweiser paintings on silos could stay, but now the cost is getting in the way. Tonight, we have more in this Fox 11 follow-up. The Budweiser murals at the end of Washington Street will remain. This after the silo's owner, Riverland Agriculture, tore down the banners and was set to sandblast the paintings last November. The city took a position a while ago uh, through, their or through our ordinances uh, that they were non-conforming signs. And Riverland did what they had to do and, and started taking them down. But Mayor Justin Nichols quickly heard from community members who wanted to save the Anheuser-Busch beer cans. We had uh, an outcry from the citizens. I received on my own well over a thousand emails in, in a 48 hour period uh, to keep the murals. So he struck a deal. We met in, in, uh, with Riverland to see what we could do uh, to, to save them. He told Riverland Agriculture the city would pay up to $25,000 to cancel the work. The city council approved the payment earlier this week. The cancellation costs were loss of profit. Um, they had vehicles that they already were sending up from Salt Lake City in different areas to power wash uh, that needed to be returned. After the murals were saved, the mayor encouraged residents to help raise money for the cost of cancellation, plus preservation and maintenance of the murals. I've never intended to use tax dollars to, to maintain, preserve, or the cancellation costs uh, for the, the beer bottles. Um, you know, the citizens wanted to keep it, and I believe through fundraising efforts they can. But Nichols says the money's been trickling in slowly. Initially, only $2,500 was received from Larry's Distributing, which sells Anheuser Busch products. This week, another $50 came in, but besides that, no other money has been donated by those who wanted to keep the murals in the city's downtown. I think the community def definitely has been interested in. Preserving it. John Perutka is among those who support keeping the murals in Manitowoc. He says there hasn't been much of an effort by the city to actually say, this is what we need. So uh, I don't think that, I think it's a little premature at this point to say that money hasn't been raised because I don't think the, the opportunity was there for anyone to really donate to the preservation of the project. The mayor says the city's working on that and soon people will be able to donate online to a preservation fund set up by the city. Now that they actually see a concrete number um, that the city has, has paid up front and is expecting to get paid back over time, uh, I think now we can put some real dollars and cents into people's minds to help encourage them to contribute now. But Perutka is troubled by the requirement to raise money. He says community values worth fighting for should never require a ticket to get in, and adds now because a thousand community voices spoke up, they now need to pay up. This is the cost of doing business. The citizens really wanted to save this. The mayor says above and beyond the $25,000 cancellation fee, the amount of money needed for preservation and maintenance is still unknown, and so far no work has been done on that end. Meanwhile, mural supporters have partnered with nonprofit downtown organization, mainly Manitowoc, to help preserve the iconic images. We are coordinating new murals in the downtown, um, and so this sort of fit with what we already have going on and are trying to pursue as well. Zastro says she's open to help facilitate fundraising for the group, but doesn't believe it will reach the level of meeting the city's $25,000 cost. What that looks like going forward, I don't know. We really haven't had much conversation until someone gets there and assesses the artwork um, and some costs are determined and things like that. So very preliminary discussions at this point. Now the mayor says people can also make donations by writing a check to the city of Manitowoc. Just write Budweiser murals in the memo. Donations are tax deductible.